Hey guys, it's Alex and today I wanted to talk about something that's happening uh, very often now. Um, as a lot of you guys know, I work for VMP and every once in a while we get a supercharger back that has damaged rotors. Now, not only is that insanely rare, um, it's, it's nearly impossible depending on how they're built. Um, no, actually knowing how they're built. So the bearings in the front, the bearings in the back have pretty tight tolerances. I come from a pump world. I know how these are built. These are insanely high quality pieces. Bearings are high quality pieces, stuff in the front is high quality, and there are tight tolerances. So when somebody says, hey man, my blower locked up, that blows my mind. I go, man, that's, you know, is it a manufacturing defect? You know, we we take pride in, in the, that the blower is super efficient and works really well. Um, similar to, to a Roush blower, uh, has similar tolerances, similar bearings. Our inlet design is different um, and our case is different, but the rotors are all made by Eaton and the bearings are similar. So when somebody says, hey man, I locked up my blower, I go, shit, you know, what the hell? What, that, that's crazy. So when you look at the blowers, okay, when you when, when you see how they're built internally, you can kind of see where I'm coming from. Now let's, let's just do this, right? The only way you can rub the rotors on the inside of the case is if you have a bearing failure which is very rare or if you have the rotors and the case grow at different temperatures what does that mean Alex I don't know what you're talking about if you put ice on the case during a dyno pull because you want to keep everything cool you are now causing the growth of the rotors and the case to be different so when you do a watt pull what happens right the rotors get warm and everything gets a little warmer obviously not hot like a toaster but pretty warm so the rotors grow and the case grows with the rotors so everything the rate of growth is similar the moment you put a bag of ice on top of a piece of cast aluminum to keep the things cool you are not cooling the rotors, you're cooling the housing, you're cooling the case. But the rotors are still gonna grow and they are more likely to rub and cause damage because the rate of growth now is different because you thought this was a Fox body in 1987 and put a bag of ice on the intake to keep the charge temperatures low so that when you go down the quarter mile, you know, the car is happy. Look, this isn't a Fox body. This is a supercharger that has, you know, tight tolerances. The reason the 2.3 is a is a great little blower is because it has it's insanely efficient, has really nice tight tolerances, and it outperforms most blower almost all blowers in its in its uh, size range. The only thing that can hang tight from other manufacturers is it, it's about a three liter three liter version of a different rotor design. So, when you're out there at the track, you go wide open throttle, go down, then you throw a bag of ice on the top, you are more likely to make the rotors rub against the inside of the housing because now you're cooling the housing. What happens when you cool something down? It contracts. Just like when you step into a cold pool or cold water, your dick goes inside your body. Think of that way, okay? Cold contracts. When it's nice and hot, bitch gets big. You know what I mean? So, when the rotors get warm, they grow slightly. When the rotors are cool, they don't grow as much, but if the case is cool and the rotors inside are warm, they grow and they rub, and you have a potential of locking things up. Another thing that can potentially uh, be an issue is if you install it without the dowels, okay? Those dowels that are on a supercharger, if you look at the lower intake, it has two little dowels, or the dowels are on the blower, they center the supercharger perfectly right on that sucker if you don't have those in and you're installing it without the dowels you're more likely to distort things I know there's an o-ring I get it there's an o-ring and everything but if you tighten things kind of weird and start flexing in certain areas you're you're more likely to have distortion happen than not I'm not saying that's causing rotors to to rub on the inside of the housing I'm just saying it's more likely 
So do not put ice in any circumstance, in any circumstance, do not put ice on a supercharger. And then I heard someone say, well, people use ice, you know, um, ice tanks. Well, yeah, the ice tank is cooling the intercooler. The intercooler is below the supercharger and it cools the charge temps. You don't necessarily want to cool down the blower itself. You want to cool down the air that's going into the engine and that is controlled by the intercooler. You have an intercooler under the blower then you have a heat exchanger in front of the car getting rid of that warm warm water and then kind of getting rid of the getting rid of the, the, the hot water basically and it brings it back slightly cooler that's why a triple pass heat exchanger with dual fans is highly sought after because the recovery time is excellent so this is going to be a short and sweet video on what not to do when you have a tvs blower whether it be a roush unit whether it be a vmp blower do not ever put ice on top of the blower for any reason ever if you want the charge temps to be colder invest in ice chest ice tank ice chest ice tank whether it be the ones we offer in the front or like a big boy tig vision version in the trunk your charge temps will be cold the car will be happy and you won't rub your rotors on the housing thanks for listening guys talk to you later